Hi there, my name is Chris Harchis. You might know me as one of the grumpier members of the Cake PHP mailing list, and I wanted to do a little screencast to demo some code I've been working on. A while back, I had put forward a suggestion that Cake PHP could use an interactive console for doing testing of models. This is a feature that's available in Ruby on Rails, and I thought that since PHP is well suited for work on the command line, that this, seemed, this would be a tool that a lot of people could get use out of. So with the help of some of the other members of the core uh, development team. Uh, I have a very, very pre-alpha version of the console for you to check out. Now the Cake PHP team is doing work with a lot of other consoles, not just uh, an interactive one. If you've checked out an extremely uh, alpha version of Cake 1.2, you can see that we have in this uh, slash Cake slash console directory, we have this right here. Um, you have a console, it shows you current paths, how to change paths, all that other stuff. And also, more importantly, what shells are available. So you can see the current ones that are built in are ACL shell, and API shell, bake, console, and extract. So the one we're going to take a look at today is console. So we go cake, console, and it's kicked into the console. Now when it first loads the interactive console, you see that we have two model classes. It automatically loads any models that you have in your application, which is handy. So there's also a nice help command, which shows you right now the interactive console supports the following two things. You can test for results by using the name of your model without a leading dollar sign. So you can see the example is foo uh, arrow find all. And then you can also dynamically set associations for testing. So you can set the supported associations right now are has one, has many, belongs to, and has and belongs to many. So let's do a little demo here. I've preloaded these uh, the foo model and the bar model with some data already. So if I go foo find all, you can see that I only have one record. And in bar, I have two. Okay, that's cool. Easy enough to check your data. Now, let's try dynamically setting an association. Foo has many bar. If I go with foo find all, it shows not only what's in the foo model, but also what's in the bar model that's associated with that foo ID of one. So just a little demo, more to come with the interactive console. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to uh, send me an email uh, at the email address listed on my blog where you find the screencast. Talk to you soon.